All right, Owen and Sophia back with you. A Houston man was honored at City Hall recently for saving a police officer's life. Hereby proudly declare September December 20th, 2023 as John Lally's day in the city of Houston. There it is, 1220. It's your day, John Lally. He accepted that proclamation from the mayor, the police chief yesterday. Lally said despite his previous arrests, he still respects what police officers do and wouldn't hesitate if he had to step up and do it again. Oh boy, look at this. Last month, Lally pulled a wounded police officer to safety during a shootout on the Southwest Freeway. He recorded it on his cell phone the day that it happened. He just happened to be recording there. Officer Gibson was shot in the leg. That officer is now recovering. The suspected gunman was killed that day. This morning, John Lally is joining us to tell us more about that day. First of all, honor for you to be for for us to have you here thank good, you for joining morning. us John. first it's an honor for me to be here but before i say anything i'd like to give a shout out to my boy brian hanks and my boss danny for even letting me come over here today they stepped up so i could be here with y'all oh, to have a little interview we appreciate it yes. and i apologize man it's, i'm kind of hot already you're good you're so good I'm gonna take you're some hot take some of it get comfortable appreciate it you earned it for sure oh, what goodness. was it like just watching that video again man I just seeing the video movie. has it doesn't really mean a whole lot especially when you live through the situation so yeah. I mean that video that's not a really good representation of it is it no nah, not really I've been getting a lot of flack because I recorded the video but what a lot of people fail to realize is that there was a big car crash prior to that so I started recording because I was like man my boss isn't gonna believe this so I was gonna send him the video and let him know why I had it made it to my delivery yet so, you know, a lot of people were thinking that I was just recording for some clout or something like that, but it had nothing to do with that. And then I'm not going to throw my phone. Right. You know what I mean? So I just kind of held it in my hand because as soon as I jumped out of the car, well, let me backtrack. First, I thought I was going to get pulled over because I saw some lights flashing. So I slowed down a little bit. Then the cop goes around me, cuts me off. When he cuts me off, when he disappears to the cars in front of me, it was sounded like a big explosion. There was like an eight, nine car multiple accident. I saw a car flip over. I saw a tire fly in the air. And I said, oh my God, let me start recording. I started recording. I jumped out of the truck. And as soon as I jumped out of the truck, thinking I'm going to go pull somebody from a car or something, they started shooting, so I ducked behind the trailer, and then I just heard more shots, and then I looked to the left, and I saw somebody get shot in the leg and fall down to the ground and stand up, and then he fell again, and I immediately felt his pain because I've been shot in the same leg before. Somebody tried to jack me back in 2013, and I tried to fight him for the gun, and then they shot me in my leg, shattered my femur bone. I got a titanium rod in my leg, pins in my knee and my hip, but I could still move around. <laughs> so you, you know. knew he, you what knew he was he, going through. Yeah. I knew exactly extent. what he was yeah. going through, and I also knew that he wasn't going to die because he wasn't even bleeding a lot. Your main artery is right here, so like he missed the artery. He wasn't bleeding a lot. The other officer, um, Socrates Trujillo, shout out to you, sir. He's the one that put the tourniquet on the officer, and then I just told him to hold my hand, and I wanted to talk to him because I know if you talk to somebody while they're going through something, it's going to help take their mind off the situation and what's really going on. And I got my red and blue on today, just so y'all know. But, um, man, shout out to Officer Gibson, man. The only thing that i seen after the fact is that he was standing right in the line of fire. So had he not moved from that position, he kinda, he, something else could have happened. Yeah. But I'm glad that it worked out for all of us that are still here. And I'm sorry that somebody happened to lose their life, but he shouldn't think that this is a game. It's not Grand Theft Auto. Right. John, I, I heard you in the video talking to him and saying it's, it, you're going to be okay and kind of petting his head and letting him know, like, look, I'm here for you. I got shot a week before Thanksgiving in 2013. I got to go home on a bunch of medicine and heal up Thanksgiving, Christmas, and I saw the same scenario for him, except for he's going to get paid for it while he's sitting at home healing up. And then I found out that he has a 20-month-old son. He needs to go home and be a father. That's why I told him raise that kid right, because I grew up without a dad. So I know what it's like, and I know what, 
his future can be, man. He has a lot of good things coming his way. Were those instincts that you just ran and pulled him because of your experience? Were you ever thinking, like, I, I might get shot right now? I'm born and raised in southwest Houston, and I always see a bunch of crazy stuff. I grew up on Bel Air and Hillcroft. So shout out Southwest, man, you know what I'm saying? But like just, and I've been to jail a lot. So like seeing things and hearing things, you just react, man. I think anybody that has a true heart would have done the same thing that I'd done had they been in my position. There were a couple other people that came up and helped afterwards and I had people open the doors to make sure we wouldn't get shot. Then he was tucked under their truck. I had him turn off the ignition so the exhaust wouldn't mess with him. And um. I'm just glad that I'm still here and I'm alive and rest in peace to my mom, Vicky. I love you very much. Yeah. And you were talking earlier that one of the headlines that you believe is, look, you, you have a past, but now you're doing such great things and your mom is kind of guiding you along. Never count the days, make the days count. You can't change the past, but you can always work on the future. It's beautifully said. Yeah. And, and, and I know you say you would and put in the same position. I'll do, do it again. again, and if you do something like that out there in the streets and I see it right now, just know that I'm coming for you. I'm like Batman. <laughs> and we <laughs> and we know you love Batman. We know you love the Rockets. Man, I love the, the Rockets, the Texans, the Astros, and shout out Johnny Dang. If you want to give me a grill, I'll take one, man. Right, we, need, we need to get you in the, get in, the, in, the cart, in the golf cart coming out of the tunnel, first yes. pitch, man, free I'd throw. Love all Let's of get that John stuff, Lally man. making the round. I would love all of that stuff, man, Thanks, but sir. you know. Oh, Houston loves you. I take you, donations. Sure. Houston loves you, John. <laughs> I love, love Houston, you. man. That's why I'm glad that I'm here, man. I want to show my city that somebody with a troubled past can make a change, and you can keep working to make yourself better, and you can keep doing better things. If you want to be successful, surround yourself around successful people, and that's where you go. That's why I want to give a shout out to my job, Texas Garden Materials, for giving me opportunity to even drive the truck and trailer that helped me save an officer with another officer's help. And shout out to the Houston Police Department, man. Everybody's been showing me love, and I'm very appreciative of everybody that has shouted me out in a positive way, and to all the haters that think I was just had my phone for clout, you know what I'm thinking, yeah. so I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Oh, we're proud of you. And we I'm proud of y'all, man. Y'all's energy is so beautiful, and y'all have a glow that is amazing that has nothing to do with the makeup or anything. <laughs> like, y'all are really, <laughs> I like it. But we were genuinely thrilled to have you. Thank and you I'm guys. glad that y'all let me showcase my personality. I was in the service industry for a long time, so I used to be a lot of people's servers at a lot of restaurants in Houston. Um, Hospitaliano, I'm not going to say what company, but it means treat people like friends and family. So anywhere you yeah. go, you should treat people with kindness, open doors for people, say yes ma'am, no ma'am. My grandma taught me that. Rest yeah. in peace, Judy. John Lally, thank we, you so much. You need a YouTube channel. We need to get you your own yeah. show. Man, if y'all want to help me, man, I'm trying we're to start my own tow thing. truck company uh -huh. one day so I could be a first responder Let's do it. if Let's anybody do it. wants <laughs> to help. We got to go. John Lally, yes. thanks again. Appreciate we'll right y'all so right much. This. Thank you.